In this video, we're going to find the area of the surface generated by rotating x equals 2t cubed, y equals 3t squared, about the x-axis from t equals 0 to t equals 4. OK, so as part of the formula, I'm going to need to find dx by dt, which is going to be 6t squared, and dy by dt, which is going to be 6t. OK, so the area is going to be 2 pi times the integral between 0 and 4 of y, which is 3t squared, times by the square root of this squared, so 36t to the 4, plus this squared, so 36t squared, dt. OK, so... First thing from here, recognise we've got 36 square number. We can factor up the 36. We can factor up the t squared as well. So I'm going to get a is equal to. So I'm factoring out the 36, which gives me 6. Um, so square root of 36 is 6. Times by the 3 is 18. Times by the 2 is 36. So I've got 36 pi on the outside now, between 0 and 4. I'm factoring out the t squared from inside, so the square root of that is t. So I'm going to get left with t cubed in here, times by the square root of t squared plus 1 dt. OK, so this is the integral I have. Now, um, what method of integration to use? Well, again, parts is out. Um, we can't immediately reverse the chain rule because the derivative of the inside is not a multiple of the outside, so we can't do that. So then we should be looking at substitution. Now, the substitution that we should make here uh, is actually u is equal to the t squared plus 1. The uh, reason why you might go along that line is because you know that uh, t squared is going to differentiate to 2t, um, which you know you're going to end up dividing through, which is going to knock out t here, which will allow you to uh, write what's outside the square root in terms of u. Okay, So you've got to be thinking a few steps ahead here. So we're going to use u is equal to t squared plus 1. So du by dt is equal to 2t. So du, uh, or rather dt, dt uh, is equal to 1 over 2t du. OK. Um, I'm going to rearrange that to get t squared, which is u minus 1. I'm going to need to change the limits as well. So when uh, t is equal to 4, u is going to be equal to uh, 16 plus 1, so 17. And when t is 0, u is going to have to be 1. So we have... Right, I'm going to be replacing the dt with 1 over 2 t du. So I've got a half coming out here. So I'm going to pull the half through, and I'm going to have 18 pi on the outside, integrated between 1 and 17. Um, the t, 1 over t is going to knock out that one of those. So I'm going to be left with t squared, which is the u minus 1. And the t squared plus 1 is u, so I've got the u to the half du. And so this is now my integral. And of course, if you want to take more steps to get from there to there, then be my guest, OK? Uh, and take as many steps as you want. OK, so I'm going to multiply through that bracket. 18 pi between 1 and 17 of u to the 3 halves. Take away u to the half du. OK, we can integrate that directly. So 18 pi times by 2 fifths u to the 5 halves. Take away 3 halves u to the... Oh, sorry, 2 thirds. 2 thirds, rather, u to the 3 halves. Evaluated between 1 and 17. OK, right. 18 pi on the outside. So let's see what the calculator can make of this. So I need the square root of 17, and then I need to do that to the power of 5. Calculator doesn't like it. <laughs> right, OK, so we're going to have to do this long-winded way then. So uh, root 17 times, uh, well, we could do it 
to the power of 4, and then times that by root 17. And that'll be to the power of 5, won't it? So root 17 to the power of 4 is 289, and I need to multiply that by 2 fifths, which is 578 over 5. Um, root 17. Okay. Um, take away two thirds. So we've got the root 17 um, cubed, which is going to be 17 root 17, times that by two thirds. So 34 thirds root 17. So that's substituting the root 17. Now substituting the 1, we're going to have 2 fifths take away 2 thirds. Okay, so 578 over 5 take away 34 thirds is 1,564 over 15 root 17. And we've got the 2 fifths take away 2 thirds which is minus 4 fifteenths, so plus 4 fifteenths. Now we can factor out the fifteenths, and can we factor out 4? So 1564 divided by 4? Yes, we can. So 18 times by 4 fifths, 4 fifteenths rather, is 24 fifths. And 1564 divided by 4 was 391, so 391 root 17 plus 1. So that's the nicest form you can get it into. And that is the exact surface area of this curve between 0 and 4.